Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, and happy 2022. Good to see everyone out there. It's going to be a great year. We have so much content coming your way today. This is going to be the first of about 10 videos. So much to talk about. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to catch all the content, live streams, so much happening. This first video is Blake Horseman and Gigi from Love is Blind. Now, if you haven't followed Love is Blind, I'll catch you up on it. It's it's like if you took The Bachelor and just you know blew it up in a three-day time period. They get three days to uh, talk to each other, just random people. You don't get to see each other. And then they decide if they like each other, they'll see each other. They might get engaged. They might not. A lot of a lot of these couples got in, got married. They went to the altar barely having seen each other before. So not too different from the Bachelor universe. Uh, but here we have Blake Horstman, who, you know, uh, Bachelor's bad boy, DJ Blake, uh, um, you know, uh, was stood up at the altar by Becca Kufrin and then uh, a following Bachelor in Paradise year was kind of made up to be the villain, kind of traumatized from the show. And then you've got Gigi here who was stood up at the altar herself. Okay, Gigi was stood up at the altar. And if you didn't watch Love is Blind, no, no, no spoiler alerts. This is a, you know, almost two years ago the show was on. But it was fascinating. All right, so we'll get into it. And again, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also, here's today's live stream schedule. So much going on. There's going to be a private Patreon live stream today. And then one hour before the premiere of Clayton Eckhart's season. And then right after the East Coast and right after the West Coast, we'll have live stream. So make sure to uh, stay in touch with that. Go to Instagram at Neils, uh to uh, make sure you can catch up any updates for the live stream. All right, let's get into it. So here are the photos that are coming out. They're not exactly hiding their relationship, um, but um, a lot of users on Reddit and, of course, Justin Takes the Batch here put this together. You have Blake on the left, New Year's Eve, and then he's got this, you know, dress in, in, in the back. And everyone's like, all right, what's going on here with that dress? And, of course, separately, uh, Gigi posts this photo with wearing said dress. All right, well, that's not a perfect uh, perfect match, although it does look pretty good there. And then we have Steak Gate. They both posted uh, that they were getting steak dinner. Um, are they the same plates? Actually, this doesn't really... This doesn't sell it to me because they've got different... Uh, this one's got... On the right has some sort of flower design but either way it looking pretty similar so now we have this on the left is blake's bathroom uh this was from i believe the show photos so this was before he moved in from his you know the real real estate photos here so you've got the light fixtures pretty much dead set this is the same bathroom i think we can all agree and here's Blake, by the way. I don't know if this is a distorted photo, but this looks like if I did a police sketch version of Blake. If someone was like, Dave, draw Blake. I think this is what would happen. I don't know. It just doesn't really look like him, although the chest looks very nice. Good for him. Uh, and then she says, good morning, happy New Year's Eve. So looks like they've been together. We can pretty much... Uh, we can pretty much agree with uh, without too much uh, uncertainty here that they are together. Now, who is Gigi? That's what everyone's question is. So we'll go into this. Gigi, like I said, they go straight to the altar on Love is Blind. They don't have time to waste. They don't have the budget to send them to Mexico and go on a few more dates in the fantasy suite. It's like, you guys like each other? Well, get on that altar and we'll see if you guys say I do. And as we know, Blake obviously was trying to propose to Becca Kufrin and she's like, not yet. I need to go uh, get engaged to Garrett and then watch that go down. So here they are. And... Um, it's, uh, you know, the, the, he, everyone thought Gigi was going to say no. So Damien and Gigi, they have a disastrous season finale wedding caught on film. After a flight risk, Gigi tearfully said, I do. So everyone thought she was going to be like, no, I don't. Because I'm not saying she was the better one out of the two, but I think people were rooting for her. She was like a fiery Venezuelan. She was just like, I mean, talk about wearing her heart, heart on her sleeve. And he was kind of like, you know, had that like sort of engineering energy. He was like, yeah, sure, all right, whatever. So she says, I do. Then Damien says, I do not. <laughs> Prompting Gigi to run away, slipping and falling in mud on her white wedding dress while her mother chased her down. Uh, so they had the parents come for all of this. Can you imagine being a parent and all this isn't happening? <laughs> like, what's going So she brings out a chair. She's like, let's talk. Let's do this. And um, she had mud all over her dress. Let's see if we can find the photo. Uh, there they are. There's her saying, he, there's him saying, I do not. This is the look at, this is the face of someone who just got stood up at the altar right there. Double, double bitch wing energy. Like, what are you? you doing here um 
And then, of course, we can relate to Blake. I mean, Blake looks like, you know, he, he did such a, a, a rough go of Bachelor in Paradise that it looks like he was on Survivor. It literally looks like he was fighting for his life to survive. Uh, and uh, mentally and spiritually, he was. <laughs> he was in a rough place um, after uh, his relationships and how it all went down. So could they work out well together? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Here's Gianna with um with her uh, love is blind guy Damien. They stayed together after they after they broke up on the altar. Um, they kind of stayed together. Uh, so th they had these oh, just oh, hotbed conversations. She goes, "Why don't you initiate it?" You know, uh, the the bumping of the Harrison, if you will. And she goes, "Why don't you seduce me, even though I jump on you every freaking second? Um, why don't you just look at me and take it?" I do not understand. Why can't you just seduce me? And she's like really throwing it at this guy. We're all watching going like, yo, what is happening here? So it's a show that some of you guys watched. Um, I think internationally it had a huge following, but not not as much as um, I would say our local audience would have here, you know, with regards to our bachelor audience, our bachelor audience is um, obviously super niche down and specific. So it'll be an interesting storyline to follow he, because on one hand, like I said, they both have the same sort of traumatization of having been on these shows and dragged their family through it. They can talk about that. But on the other hand, they aren't, it's almost like, um, they're like second cousins. Okay. <laughs> oh, why does my first video of 2022 have to be about second cousins? Don't lose me friends in the South. I'm just kidding here, folks. Uh, second cousins here. It's like, well, is it legal? Yeah, sure. Is it going to be awkward at family reunions? Maybe, maybe it will be, but, um, cute nonetheless, very cute couple. So if they do, and again, some are saying, this we'll get out of here in a second that they met and we don't really know any of this for sure that there's an upcoming mtv show um mtv challenge like show not celebrity big brother like we all originally thought which people are saying is where they actually met we knew blake was going to be on a show they they clearly have already shot this show it hasn't aired yet so um they might end up together or you know like like happens a lot of times they shoot these shows they don't end up together but then you know, they get to know each other, DM each other afterwards, and that's when the true magic happens. We'll have to see. Now, if you haven't checked out my Patreon yet, just a quick plug. I'm going to try to put my plugs at the end of my videos so we can get straight to all the content. But on my Patreon, I've got my top earning videos of 2021. Now, this is like really inside baseball. If you guys want to know how the sausage is made, I literally go through some of the most like unique and interesting storylines from 2021. I tell you how much uh, some of the videos made. Um, some of the, uh, some of the other, like here's just one right here 29 129,000 views need $1160 now i make a ton of videos that don't make any money but when you watch the top ones and see how much they made if you're looking to grow your youtube channel or you're just interested in the behind the scenes process i think it's very fascinating how that all works out so if you want to check that out you can go to patreon.com slash dave neal i'll have the link up right here patreon.com slash dave neal we're gonna have a ton of content coming your way today don't forget to subscribe check out this graphic so you know when you can watch these live streams i'll see my patreon community today 2 p.m east coast okay 11 a.m west coast and uh if you guys haven't been a part of that community i'm literally going live for the private audience while i construct videos that you guys now see how i put the thumbnails together how i kind of do the whole process so if you want to see how everything shot live all at once you can see it there and anyway folks uh we're looking forward to a great 2022 thank you for sticking around i appreciate all of you and uh if you have anything you want to say by by all means, you can call the voicemail line 401-213-9828. Right here is the number 401-213-9828. And I'll get to your voicemails. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye, guys.